This is where it gets James Bond. You guys have got to see this. Ready? Before it was called the Valhalla, they gave it this code name, the 003. 007 might be driving this car. That's not yet confirmed. However, it could be one of the other agents in the James Bond film. This is ballistic nylon. This material was first developed in World War II to protect the airmen from flying debris when the bullet impacts, right? So you've got this kind of James Bond material here. We've got a little surprise here in this box. Okay, nothing special about a phone, but what this is meant to do is be mounted here. So instead of an infotainment screen, you would mount your phone here in the center. The seat is attached to the tub of the car, so you cannot move this seat forward. What you do do is move the pedals closer towards you like in a LaFerrari, for example. And the same for the steering wheel. This would all move closer to you. 3D printed, carbon fiber, and these buttons were also 3D printed in order to save weight. They're all integrated, all up here as well. So a lot of 3D printed parts that go a long way towards saving weight for this hypercar. Now this hypercar is built to rival some of the most incredible hypercars on the market. The LaFerrari, the P1, the 918 Spider. Now come look at this at the back. Just, how, just look how massive this rear diffuser here is. It kind of looks like an eagle in flight. Can you see that? This is flex foil technology. It's been developed with NASA. Now what makes it special is the carbon fiber actually bends. You see how it goes up here and down here at the front. Now this is where it gets really interesting. Aston Martin has moved its engine from the front of the car to the back. This is now a mid-engine supercar and they've got the exhaust pipes here mounted on the top. It's going to have a twin turbo V6 engine, but also with hybrid technology. So it's also going to have an electric motor. It's not confirmed yet, but rumor has it, it will be around a thousand horsepower. Now take a look at this. No side mirror, right? Guess where it is? All the way down here. This is going to give you better visibility than a side mirror. And just look how you can see all the way through here to the front and you see the back of the tire and the suspension. Come around the front. All right, these headlights here, they've actually used a lot of 3D printed technology to save on weight. This headlight weighs half what a headlight on an Aston Martin usually would do. 